Hello everyone. Today, today's task is to migrate a virtual machine from the VMware to the AWS. So I don't have any VMware running at the moment with me. So that's the image, how it works. So you just click on the image file and export to the OVF. This supports only OVF VMDK formats. Then what you need to do, once you have exported that to your location, you need to come to the AWS and create a bucket. I have already created this bucket, so you can give any name you want. So it is simple to create a bucket. Uh, let me just do one more thing here. Okay, so give it a name, your location, object ownership, and just deselect that. Bucket versioning, it's up to you if you want to enable versioning or not. So leave everything as default and click create. So you will have your bucket as this one. Once you have this bucket, you need to get into the bucket and click upload. And once you click upload, add files and just look at wherever your machine is located and click upload. So in this way, you will have this sent to survey image which you have downloaded from VMware. Now you have uploaded it to your S3 bucket. Once you have done that, you need to create an IAM role. So go on IAM. Again, I have already prepared that over migration, just I give it a name. So it's again, easy to create a user, add user and give it a name, programmatic access and click next permissions to it. So let's see what permissions my IAM user has here. Okay, it has administrator access. Hmm. You can add any more permissions, whichever you like by clicking here and attach existing policies directly to it. And you can choose the policies <clears throat> or you can copy permissions from existing users as well or create a new policy as well. So going back into it, now I need to create a role for it, which will act <clears throat> a migration from S3 to AWS. So this role, you have to name it like VM import only. Once you click on that, again, give it administrator, administrator access and edit your trust policy. So trust relationship, and edit trust relationship. Here, this policy is available in the AWS documents. Uh, let me show you. So this is online available, VM import, import and export guide. Just come down. There you go, to create the service role. You just need to copy from here and paste it there. That's it, all you need to do. Yeah, so it's version statement, effect allow, then service VM import and export, amazon.com, <coughs> sorry. Then action assume roles and VM import, update the trust policy, you will have this row 
attached to your role. Okay, so we have this in place. Once you have a role and IEM user with admin rights, you need to connect to your VP. There is a various ways of doing it. So I go through my EC2 instance, but you can do from your Windows or Mac machine as well. If you are having a Windows, you need to install a WS command line interface. And also you may need to do Vim, install Vim editor. Right, so let's go to dashboard. Well, let's go to EC2 instance. Okay, send us from VM server. I just created one. Well, oh, I will use this. I don't need this one. I will let me delete that straight away. Terminate. Right, let me turn this on. Okay, it's still pending, but it has given me the public ad IP address. So open your putty, connect to it. <coughs> Okay, EC2 <coughs> user and then sudo su. Now you need to give your IAM user details here. AWS configure. Okay, let's get that, those details. First of all, <clears throat> let me show you I am user details. So I have this user over migration. I need to access the access key and secret key for this user. Right, so I had to pause to put these keys on then your region eu base 2 enter default output parameter enter again once you have that you need to use again vim command now let's see the vim command here so you can migrate your machine to aws Again, in the AWS documents. There you go. So what you need to do, from containers, dot JSON, sorry. containers or JSON. Right, so I already have this file here. Otherwise, what you need to do, just copy this and change your bucket name there and your image name instead of VMS my server, you just give send to 7 over in my case. So in your case, you just give your machine name and your S3 bucket name. That's it, the rest can be as it is. You can see here. And then escape colon WQ and exclamation mark, save it. 
come out. Once you have done that, you need to use another command now. Again, <clears throat> this will be in the documents, which is here AWS EC2 import image description. I have it here as well, which I'm going to share in the document. So just copy this one image and put your server name here. In my case, it is Ubuntu 64 bit and disk containers <coughs> and file. So I'm just copying this image and putting it here. Now you can see it has started migrating my machine from S3 to AWS server. It's pending status now. So let's check what we got there in the ECT. Well, this service is running. So what it will do first, it will create any snapshot. It has cre creating now. After that, it will create oh let me show you. Yeah, my image. Where is AMIs. So it's not there yet. I will refresh it. We need to wait for it. So it creates an image for me here. Once I have the image, I can easily create an instance with the AMI image. So let's use the next command to see the status which is again in the documents. Description of my server, disk containers. So, of the image. So we need to copy this command now. AWS is to describe import image task, import task, and then ID. This will give us an ID as well of our image. So let's copy that. AWS EC2 image import task. IDs import IDs. Then we can copy the rest from there. And this ID. Okay, it is changing my format to VMDK and its status is completed. So let's go back to our console and refresh it. So snapshot is 
completed, but still this doing. I just need to wait a few minutes for it. I will pause the video for a while and then we'll come back once it is there. Right, I'm back now. It took about five to six minutes to migrate my CentOS image to AWS to create any snapshot, which is this. We can see the timing and date now, 29th of December, 21, 40 past one. Also, this snapshot has created an EMI for me, which is this again. And at the same time, 29th of November, December 2021, 40 past one. Now let's give it a name. Send EMI. Okay, instances, we have just one instance here. So let's create one more instance from this, our set sent to CMI. So launch an instance from the image. Choose the instance you like, whatever it is, the size of your image. So my, for me, T2 micro is good for now. Then VPC, whichever you have created, or you can always choose your default ones. Add storage, 20 GB, that's fine. Security group, again, you can create a new security group, or you can just attach an existing security group. And review and launch. Again, choose an existing key pair or create a new key pair. So I already have a key in my computer, which is, I use that all the time. So with the same key, I'm using this instance. Now view the instance. Okay, let's go to the EC2 dashboard. Still there is one instance only. One I have already terminated before. Now this is being created and now it's running. Yes, 29th of December, 45 past one. So this is the way we can create an image from VM server, export it, create an OVF file export it to our S3 bucket and then from S3 bucket to create an image to our AWS server. Thanks for watching. That's it for this lab.